Want to learn how to inexpensively turn this plain IKEA shelving unit into this? Stay tuned and I'll show you how. Hey everyone, if you are new to my channel, my name is Katie Fallinger, and here you will find all sorts of do-it-yourself projects and tutorials, everything from woodworking to home decor. And today I'm going to show you how I totally refurbished this very large shelving unit from Ikea using chalked paint and a special glaze to make it look aged and antiqued. So this is my front room and it's not complete yet, but it is at a place where we can at least use it. And this is the finished product of the main shelving unit. Now the product name is Expedit, but Ikea replaced that line a couple of years back with the Calyx series, which is very, very similar, but that at least gives you an idea of just how old this piece is. I believe I bought it back in 2011. Now it's actually two units stacked. The shelf on top is placed on its side and we attached an iron bar to which we'll eventually hook a sliding ladder. And quick question for you guys, are you interested in seeing a more detailed video of how I connected these two pieces? Let me know in the comments below. So a quick backstory here, this room used to be our office, but we just weren't using it. And we actually had two additional Expedit pieces in here, a desk and another shelving unit in this color. So it was really dark and kind of uninviting, but you have actually seen that desk in other videos of mine. I use that as my workbench now. Always repurposing, baby. But I just knew there had to be a way I could salvage this monstrosity and turn it into a gem. So let's get into how I actually did that. I'm going to show you all the steps using this insert that fits right into the shelving. But before we get into that, if you guys are interested in how to repurpose your old furniture and turn it into something beautiful, I really hope you'll consider subscribing. All right, let's get to it. First, let's run through everything you'll need. Chalk paint in a color of your choice, a glaze, clear top coat, and one or two paint brushes. I have both a chalk paint brush and a synthetic paint brush. You'll also need a drop cloth, gloves, a few lint-free towels or rags, and a few paint stir sticks. Finally, you'll need 180 grit sandpaper, and optional is a power sander, safety glasses, some safety earmuffs, and a face mask. So before I can start painting, I'm going to lightly sand the shelf. Now, one of the biggest draws of chalk paint is that you don't have to do any prep work like sanding or priming. However, this is made from wood veneer. So it's that sort of shiny, almost plasticky look. And I wanna remove at least the top layer of that veneer so that it roughs up the surface and gives the paint something to adhere to. And safety first, I'm gonna get my hair off my face. Since I'm sanding in an enclosed space, I'm going to put on some face, eye, and ear protection. I'm going for the comical cat burglar look. And let's rev this thing up. Again, I'm using a 180 grit sandpaper with a power sander, and I'm going over every inch of this, including the edges and the corners, but gently. Now keep in mind, wood veneer will sand down really easily and we just want to rough up the surface. So avoid using a really coarse sandpaper grit, especially if you're going to use a power sander. Remember, the higher that grit number, the finer the grit. As for technique, I'm not going in any specific back and forth motion. I'm going in circles and on a diagonal. So again, the point is to rough up the surface. So haphazard is actually a good thing. Lost an earring. Okay, so I wasn't able to fit the sander inside the shelf. You see how it just gets stuck there? So I'm gonna do the rest of that by hand. I think I can probably pop this piece off and just gently sand on the inside with the same piece. Since I didn't use it too much for this one small shelf, I should be able to get some more wear out of it. Again, I'm just roughing up the surface so that I have something rough for that paint to stick to. using those same circular and haphazard diagonal motions that I used with the sander as well. And once I'm done, I'll wipe off the sawdust with a dry towel or rag. And that's really all the prep work I need to do. It's not bad, right? Give this video a big thumbs up if you're all about getting to the fun part of this project, which is, of course, the painting. Okay, let's prep our paint, and I'm using this country gray color. 
always and forever, you're going to stir the paint first. Then we'll take this round chalk brush, just dip it in the can and go for it. I really like this round brush. It's specifically designed to use with chalk paint projects, but you can use a good quality synthetic brush and get great results too. Now, if you're going for a totally aged antique look, you can just slap the paint on any which way, but I'm actually going to paint in the same direction with my strokes. I did that on the main piece and I really like how that came out. I'll let that first round sit for two hours and then go back in and do a second coat. So usually chalk paint only needs one coat, but since I'm using a pretty light color on such a dark piece, I'm just going to do one extra. Then we let that dry completely and then we can come back in and get ready to rough this up again with sandpaper. Now, the reason we're sanding this time around is to achieve that aged look. So this time I'm actually going to sand by hand because again, using a power sander is going to give me a lot of power and we just want the lightly antiqued look here. So it's as if these shelves have been moved around a lot over the years, passed down from generation to generation. So they've seen a lot of natural wear. That's what we're going for here. So I'm actually only going to sand the edges and corners and gently rough up the surface in a couple of spots. pretty good and then I'll wipe the dust off with a rack. Okay time to glaze. This This is the final step to making this look like it came from the antique store. So I'm using a smoked glaze, which will set off the gray chalk paint really nicely. And by the way, give this video a big thumbs up if you like this antique look. I just love it. I think it looks so classy. Okay, moving on. Like with all the others, you'll need to stir this before you use it. And using a synthetic brush, we'll paint a thin glaze over the whole piece. I know this looks a little scary at first glance. I admit it made me a little nervous too, but you'll see how it comes together with our next step. And once the piece is covered in glaze, I'll let it sit for just a minute. And then taking a rag, I'm going to gently wipe the excess glaze off. This is akin to the way you would stain wood. Now I like to swipe the rag in different directions because you see how it leaves these cool streaks behind? It makes it look scuffed, which is exactly what I'm trying to achieve. And we will let that sit for a good eight hours. But through the magic of YouTube, I will be with you in the next video cut. First, however, I wanna show you what we're going to use to protect our work. This is a clear top coat. It's going to prevent the paint from chipping and also make it more durable. Okay, we're going to use that same synthetic brush to paint this on. It's freshly washed after using the glaze. And just like before, you'll cover the whole thing and then let it sit and dry completely. You can do a second coat if you think it needs it, but make sure that you wait a half hour in between coats. And this is the finished piece, and it just fits right into the main shelving. Voila. Guys, thank you so much for watching this one. It's actually one of my favorite projects to date. So be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked the tutorial. Chalk paint is great to work with, and I'm actually going to be using chalk paint again in a future video where I'm going to show you how to make a modern farmhouse wood sign that would make Joanna Gaines proud. So be sure that you subscribe and ring that bell so that you can get notified when that and any other new videos go up. But I do post every single Thursday. And in between uploads, let's get to know each other. I'm on all the social platforms and I've linked those pages below. So thanks again guys for watching and I'll see you next Thursday. But be sure that you... And this is the finished piece and it just, just fits if you like to do the tutorial. And it just fits right into the main shelving.